So the insulation coordination study is explained with IEEE 1313 part 1 and part 2 D. And this is the IEEE 1312 guide. It's talking about the voltage, preferred system voltages, just for information. Team. Extra high voltages, generally the nominal is 345, 500, sounds ultra high voltage is 1100K. The maximum is this. So it gives the, uh, the what we will call the definition of the system voltage. The system voltage is the RMS phase to phase power frequency voltage on a three phase AC network system, AC electrical system. This is my system voltage. And what is my maximum system voltage? The highest RMS phase to phase voltage that occurs on the system under normal operating condition. Or else, the, and the highest RMS phase to phase voltage for which equipment and other system components are designed for satisfactory continuous operation without derating of any kind. There is a maximum system voltage. And the nominal system voltage is the system voltage by which the system may be designated and to which certain operating characteristics of systems are related. Generally, 5 to 10 percent of the maximum system voltage. Extra high voltage systems is generally called if my voltage level is greater than 242 kV and less than 1000 kV. The 400 kV is extra high voltage system. And above 1000 kV, uh, it's an ultra high voltage system. So this is a small uh, topic. And come to the part uh, 1313 part 1. The part IEEE 1313 part 1 will tell gives you the definitions what we are discussing in the next uh, uh, calculations. For the definitions, you can uh, see this uh, guide uh, having only some 20 pages, the BIL and BSL levels, everything. So here you can see this uh, uh, curve, uh, TR, the rise time, if it is 8 or 0 0.1 to 20 microseconds, and the tail time is uh, less than 300 microseconds, and we are calling it as a lightning over voltages. And uh, if the same characteristic I am having with uh, 20 to 5,000 and less than 2,000, 20,000, then I'm calling it as a uh, switching over voltages. And uh, this is a, some kind of very fast transition voltages. Generally, we can see in the uh, uh, GIS applications. And uh, this is a simple uh, way of uh, seeing the installation coordinates study. And uh, some in some cases, uh, generally, the ins uh, in the Indian projects, we are not doing the insulation coordination study and we are directly uh, taking the values of BIL and BSL levels from this table itself. It is a come standard kind of thing. Suppose uh, if for, if a, mine is 33 kV, right? For 33 kV, the BIL level is 200 kV. 200 kV. And the low frequency short duration with stand voltage is 70 kV. I'm talking about the BIL, so 200 kV, phase to ground, 200 kV. And for 220 kV, these are the values you can see. So for Indian projects, all the projects, we are selecting 1050, which is the worst case. If you want to do the optimization, then you have to do the installation coordination study. So then you will, it, you, maybe your project is uh, coming for 750 or maybe 650. So you're reducing the cost in that way. So up to 220 kV, we are having the BIL. Above 220 kV, we can see BIL and BSL. Both are there. So if you see for 400 kV, 362 kV, similar to the 400 kV, these are the BIL values of 400 kV and these are the BSL levels of the 400 kV. Sorry, 550 kV. 800 kV. Above 220 kV, we are having the switching impulses. As I said, the switching impulses generally occur due to the switching operations. In the high voltages only, uh, we can see the switching operations, which results the uh, these uh, transient recovery, uh, transient voltages, which may lead to the switching over voltages. And in IEEE part two, it explains about the total concept uh, thing, but we are not much uh, focusing on this. We are directly moving to the next one, uh, where we are talking about the clearances. Here we are talking about the clearances. Let's go to the directly the calculation part. I'm directly going to the calculation. Yes. 
see a team this is my uh, application uh here the example was given uh so this is my transformer and this is my lightning arrester and this is my uh breaker motor operated one which and uh, this way isolator 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 and the breakers and isolators and the two 220 kv lines going out this is my single line diagram suppose so when after doing this i have to uh, know what is the distance uh, between my junction point of the lightning arrester to all the equipments 3 meters 10 meters i am placing all the things so if i am seeing suppose this this uh, isolator this isolator which is 13 plus uh, 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 10 so that is the distance from my isolator to this equipment so i have to see how far the isolator no, sorry how how far is the lightning arrester from all the other equipments so that was i mentioned here and i am calculating if suppose a surge occurred then what with the time it will take to reach the junction point so obviously it's a distance by what is the speed of the uh, this it's 300 meter per microsecond velocity of propagation so what is the distance divide by this the suppose if i am talking about the transformer it's a 3 right so 3 by 300 which gives me 0.01 microsecond so like that i have uh, calculated the time to the point of the g suppose a fault a surge occurred here how much time it will take to reach the isolator sorry to reach the lightning arrester to uh, suppress this uh, uh, such so if you see the eb6 the tb6 which is a six one it is taking nearly 0.146 microseconds for the search to travel so that's the table first so the first step i am calculating the time to the surge tab uh, surge travel the first point is that the next i am seeing i i am i am collecting the some data uh, for doing this vl calculation so what is the data i require the first one is i need to know what is the incoming search i can expect what is the incoming search i can expect in my substation so how this is depends is this depends upon the critical flash over rate of your transmission line or black flash rate of the transmission line generally the incoming search as per ieee part ieee 1313 part 2 it was mentioned that 120% of the critical flash over for, flash over of the line gives you the uh, incoming search so just you can uh, uh, refer that and what is the substation elevation meter 2000 so to calculate the cfo it was given in the ieee part 2 uh, it was mentioned here how to calculate the cfo so substation elevation meter is uh, suppose my substation is at 2000 uh, at a high level and the safety of factor for bl calculation generally we will consider 15% as a safety margin and the transformer arrester i am talking about the this arrester which is a very important uh, equipment playing a role here in this in this uh, uh, exercise the transformer arrester the maximum what is the maximum continuous operating voltage of the arrester i considered 140k 140 kv how i selected 140 kv like we have done the calculation for the lightning arrester right like for the 230 kv system i am uh, just to calculate the phase to ground 230 by root 3 how much it is uh, 230 by uh, root 3 1.732 132.79 into 1.1 which is 1.146 so taking into a uh, so solidly grounding factor all these things so he selected based on that he selected 140 kv and arrester discharge voltage what is the discharge voltage of this arrester we suppose it is a 426 uh, kilo volts this is a discharge voltage of the arrester arrester voltage is 557 which is a breakdown voltage and these are the things i can get from the manufacturer 
Next, I am settled, I am checking what is the incoming line voltage to the T kilowatts. How many how many lines number of conductors per phase? Suppose it is a twin mousse, so two conductors per phase. Number of lines connected to the bus, two number of lines. You can see in the SLD, two lines. And a line, what is the line length? 250 uh, kilometers. And what is the configuration of this line? Suppose, uh, what is the different types of configurations? Triangular configuration, vertical configuration, horizontal configuration, depends upon your setting horizontal configuration. And what is the line surge impedance? Uh, it's again depends on the, uh, from the uh, line, uh, transmission line analysis, they will get 4, 488 ohms. And this transformer capacitance, breaker capacitance, uh, mean time between the failures, black flash over rate, if all these all things you will get from the manufacturer and from the IEEE part two. So these are the some uh, inputs I required to do this calculation. So after getting these inputs, then I am following, I, I am moving to the next step where I am calculating the what is the voltage appearing at all these places when a surge occur? I mean, I am calculating the surge voltages at all the places. Suppose EA, which is the surge voltage at the arrestor EA. EB4, which is a surge voltage by the switch 4. Like that, I am calculating the surge voltages at all the places. How to calculate the surge voltages? The, uh, this can be calculated by using these formulas. EA, which is the surge voltage at the resistor, is equal to ED plus VPF. VPF is the power frequency voltage, general voltage. And ED is the discharge voltage of the lightning arrestor. VPF, you generally you will get from the right uh, power frequency withstand voltage. What is the power frequency withstand voltage? Line to line voltage into root two by root, uh, root three gives you the power frequency withstand voltage. And again, uh, it depends upon the type of the configuration. If it's a horizontal configuration, mention 0 0.7. If it is a vertical, 0 0.4. It's uncertain, 0 0.7. So the VF, the VPF, the power frequency withstand voltage of 220 kV to the T kV line is 131.4 kV, 45 kV. And I am calculating what is a surge steepness in the substation, which is required, which is required to calculate the maximum surge voltages that are generated on the generation gen, that are generated on the substation bus and equipment. What is the maximum surge voltage I can see in the bus? I can see in the substation. So how to calculate the incoming surge steepness? So incoming surge steepness is equal to <coughs> Ks, which is a, some uh, constant by dm. dm is again depends on BFR, black flash rate and MTBS, mean time between the surges. Where the mean time between the surges depends upon the Number of N into MTBF means MTBF is mean time between the failures of the equipment. If the two lines are connected, N equal to 2. So I calculated the MTBS and I calculated the DM and I calculated the black flash rate. And from this, I found the surge steepness is 4000 kilo volts per microsecond. Means per microsecond, uh, the steepness of that uh, is. 4000 kilovolts.